I've got a great solution to show you. I've created an agent that will help users understand the HR policies in your organization. Things like an AI policy or drug policy, alcohol policy, things like that. Things that people may have questions about at some point uh, during their journey within the organization. I'm going to show you how to create this thing in SharePoint using the new SharePoint agents feature and test this thing out. I've got a special prop that I've made that really, really helps a lot with something like this, and it'll show you how powerful these SharePoint agents can be. Let's get into it. I'm on my HR site right now, and what I've created, if we go into site contents, is I've got a policies document library. So this is where I've got a whole bunch of different sample uh, policies that I've created for this demo. You've already got a policy library more than likely. And so you, what you would want to do is use that one. But in this one, I've got all these different policies created and there's no metadata. And that is OK, because AI understands the content inside your documents. And it can also leverage some of the basic metadata at the moment, like the file name. And what we can do is without selecting any documents, we can just click on create an agent. That's going to create a brand new agent that is grounded on this library because we didn't select any documents. If we had, the agent would just be answering questions using the selected documents. Since this library has nothing but policies, I want to use the entire library. Now it says the new agent is ready, but instead of opening it, we want to edit this because there's some things we need to do to make this work correctly. First, let's just change the name of this thing. Let's call this HR policies agent, or we could just leave off the agent part because they're all going to be agents in this copilot list. So we'll just call this HR policies. Now, if you have a special image, maybe a company logo, you can put that here. And then the description uh, we will put in. This is not going to be the prompt. This is not the system instructions. This is going to be a, just what this thing is designed to do. So this is an agent that helps users understand policies in the organization. That's really all we need for this. Now we go, we go to sources and we just double check that this is grounded on our policies library. You'll see that the HR site is is listed in here. It's selected. And within that site, we're just using the policies library. We could add additional ones. So if you had multiple libraries that have your policies, maybe they're broken up into different categories or something like that, then you could include all of those libraries up to 20. Now, at the moment, the advanced customization in Copilot Studio isn't really working. If we click on it. It just says coming soon. And that's OK, because we don't need to use any advanced customization for this, because all of our uh, all of our behavior controls are going to be baked in using our system instructions. We'll find that over here in the behavior tab. So we can change this welcome message, uh, which is the message that the agent will send to the user as soon as they bring up the agent, as soon as they select that. Uh, we could just put in something basic. Um, how can I help you? Starter prompts. So what we can do here is this will be, as you'll see on the right under this testing section, these are the quick questions that someone could just click on and then click on that send button down here instead of typing out a message. So if there's common questions someone may have, you, you want to put those right here front and center to make the user experience very easy. And if you don't know which ones people may be using, then you can just put in something basic like I have a question about a policy. We can delete these others. And then it'll just be that one as you're working with this and you're analyzing how people are using this, then you want to refine this because you can go back and edit this uh, after you create it and adjust those starter prompts so that people can find the information they need faster. The instructions. Now, these are the system instructions. This is how we're going to tell this agent what its role is, what, what type of 
information it should be providing, how it should respond. Should it be friendly? Should it be sarcastic? Things like that. You want to give it as much context about its role within this site as possible. So I've got a prompt that I'm going to copy in. And it's a pretty lengthy prompt. I'm going to delete all this and I'm going to copy this whole thing. Now, this will all be available. Don't worry about trying to read this or anything. It'll all be available to you uh, on my blog. There'll be a link in the description below to get a copy of this so that you can try this out. You can tweak, definitely tweak this thing, adjust it how you, uh, based on your testing and how you want it to maybe act a little bit different than what we're seeing here. Once we're done with this, we can click on save. And now the, the agent has been created. You'll see right down here that it tells us where the agent is and it's in the policies library because we created it while we were in the library and it's hrpolicies.agent. And we can close this. Now uh, you will see the file right here, hrpolicies.agent. It's not going to stay here because we don't want someone to accidentally delete this or there, there's some different things we can do with this uh, that I'll show you in just a moment. But for now, let's just test this and see how well this works. So we go to the Copilot button and that's going to show us where all of our agents are at. There's a drop down list where we can select the agent we want. We'll see HR policies here. We can select that. There's our starter prompt. There's our custom welcome message. And we can click on uh, the, our starter prompt just to give us that starting, uh, uh, the, well, the starting prompt, I guess. <laughs> and we can change this. So I have a question ab uh, about a policy regarding office security. What are the best practices? And let's uh, submit this and see what the response is. Now, this should be answering the question based off of our office security policy you see over here in the library. And other than the jerky behavior, which I'm sure is probably just temporary while uh, Microsoft fixes that, um, you'll see that there are, uh, it, it's giving us all the information that we need about this, um, about this particular policy. Now, it, it talks about the personal possessions here. So why don't we follow up on that? Let's kind of double click into it and get more information. Or maybe we just ask about this particular thing. Where should I store my personal belongings. Let's use a different word than possessions. It should give us the exact same information. And it does. So it's it's calling it personal possessions. It knows what we're talking about, even though we're using different wording. And that's because that's how AI works. It, it works on semantics. So it knows uh, that a lot of different words will mean the same thing. You don't have to use the exact terminology, which is a big difference between how AI works and how the Microsoft search bar works across the top. Very big difference. And so this is much more user friendly than a, a traditional search engine would be. So we've got our agent created. We've got a few other things because, as I mentioned, we don't want to keep the agent right here in the library. Uh, and, and in addition, if you look at this list of things, you'll see, well, there's a, a list of agents that are approved for this site. Now, what does that mean? That means that an admin has promoted the agent up to kind of a, a, a higher level. So it shows up as approved for this site. Here's how we can do that. First, as an admin, I will select the agent. You'll see the uh, three dot button or the three dots here. We'll click on this and then we'll see set as approved. We click on this and it's gonna let us know that this is approving the agent to be available for site visitors in the agent picker. Approved agents can be found in site assets. So it's moving the agent from the library where it's currently living up to the site assets library. So we'll click on set as approved agent and we'll see that file disappear. So it's been moved 
and we see that the agent is gone already. So this is now in the site assets folder where it, it is much, much harder for someone to accidentally delete because people generally just don't ever go to that library. But we still see the agent here. In fact, we could refresh the page. And if we show the agent slide out, we'll see HR policies is now listed under approved for this site. Now, let's just suppose you wanted to make this the default, because right now, as you see, the HR agent, which is the site default, uh, is, is coming up. Maybe we wanted to make the policy agent the default. We could do that by switching over to it, going back to the three dot menu, and then you'll see an option to set as the site default. So if we were to click this, and you can switch this as uh, however you want to uh, toggle between these, but just bear in mind, this will be setting the default for all users on this site. So if we refresh the site now, and go back to the Copilot slide out, then we'll see it comes straight to the HR policies agent. So this is a really good way to make you the, the most important agent for users front and center. They don't have to go looking for it. All they have to do is uh, trigger that Copilot panel and just start talking with it. Now, there's a lot of really cool things that are coming for SharePoint agents and other agents within the whole Copilot ecosystem. If you want to stay up to date on all that kind of stuff, as well as the other new features that have uh, that are coming out for SharePoint, check the, the, the description below for the link to my SharePoint Insights newsletter. It comes out once a week, and it is packed full of value between the roadmap items, uh, other uh, announcement blogs from Microsoft, and more. So check that link in the description below. And if you want to see what other powerful things you can create with agents in Copilot, then click or tap the screen for the next video and I'll see you over there.